It will soon take you a lot longer to get around downtown Raleigh. City Council voted today to drop the speed limit. CBS 17's Judith Rotana is live in Raleigh with when this goes into effect and what happens next. Judith. So this all started a few years ago when a state employee was hit and killed while walking here in downtown. The state and the city started doing a few studies to determine how they can make things safer, and they hope lowering the speed limit, along with a few other things, will make it safer for everyone. I think Raleigh is a beautiful city to walk in. Aaliyah Jordan and her baby Levi like to make a day out of walking downtown. The speed of cars here can make her a bit uneasy. Especially having a small child, I feel more aware when I'm walking um, of the speed of people around me. Drivers will soon need to slow down. The speed limit is dropping from 35 to 25 miles per hour around most of downtown. The change will be on roads inside this green box, spanning Glenwood South to East Street and Peace to Hoke Street. I think sometimes people just don't even know what the speed limit is and they're going by feel and by what the traffic pattern is around them. The city will also be altering turn lanes at seven intersections. The state is covering the $300,000 it will cost to update traffic signals. I think it would make it safer, but I don't think speed is necessarily the big traffic issue. Kelly Powers says she generally feels safe walking, but has concerns about lane striping when driving. They suddenly change or they, they move around, and so um, people are always getting honked at because you're suddenly merging into somebody else's lane or somebody else's merging into your lane. It's another item on the city's long list of roadway improvements downtown. For now, they need to update signage and educate drivers. Hopefully people are aware. Um, so that they can slow down a little. Now looking forward, the city is also looking to get rid of right turns at red lights. And in the meantime, they're also working to turn one-way streets downtown into two-way streets. Target Street here is one of those converted one-ways. A look at the next streets they're prioritizing is online in my story at CBS17.com. Live in Raleigh, Judith Ratana, CBS17 News. All right, good stuff there, Judith. Thank you.